Hey, dorks. How's it going? Happy Monday. Oh boy, is it a Monday. Uh, it's it's Unchowder. It's time for Dwarf Fortress. We are... We're continuing. We're keeping up on the same thing. Same thing forever. Um, we're, we're doing a Metro Percent run. I'm like, oh, wait, these... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, Metro Percent. That is what I'm calling this. Uh, we are taking a fresh fortress and going to Metropolis as fast as possible. And I only care about the in-game time. I don't care about the real-time clock. Uh, though, you know, we're going quick in real time. But I'm, this the in-game speed is what I care about here. Um, and we're on session four. Yeah. Yeah, this is four. Um, and we have... We have all of our ingredients for success set up. Um, we've created a whole bunch of wealth. We're um, we're getting dwarves. We have some dwarves. Getting some migrant waves. Um, we just want to we just want to pump those numbers up. You know, we just want to do it more, more, more wealth, more citizens, more faster, all the things. Um, so I think today is going to be largely about um, you know seeing how. The things that we've got in place so far, how they play out, and what you know the result of what we've done so far is. Uh, so we're you know hopefully gonna do that pretty quick, um, and also play around with some things. Um, I still have some question marks as far as like how some things work in practice and uh, what what's best in other in other senses. Uh, so we'll be kind of playing around with that. Um, but yeah, here we are. Um, we are in the year 151. We're about to enter 152. And that will be... 49, 0, 1. So that'll be year 4. We're about to enter year 4. Now I'm just going to unpause. Um, we, we had a forgotten... We had a... F oh, that's right. We had nonsense. <laughs> we had a spider demon. Hello, spider demon. That was real cool. <laughs> um, so I, I need to build some uh, some slabs, right? Is that what I was doing? I think we we vaporized some some citizens. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that'll that'll happen at some point. Um, but yeah, look at all this. Uh, we have we have all our our platinum osigs here, um, and we're still working on studying them. We're studying their our platinum osigs with gold, and just increasing their value all day long. That's really, really what we're doing here. Um, and our, yeah. Uh, Carpenter has created Nolwithar, a willow table. Oh, neat. Hooray, a table made of wood, I guess. Um, what are you, what are you? Tongue trammels? Okay. Um, and see, this is only worth 2,000 as well. So it's like roughly 2,000, right? I, we want to, I'm going to talk about that symbol a little bit. And it's, uh, a, I still don't know all of what's going on with valuation and whatnot. Um, but yeah, um, it's about 2,000. Decorated with willow, encircled with willow, and alpaca wool. Okay, cool, thank you. Um, I guess we can put that in our, our vault, right? That's down here. I'll just put a table on a pedestal. Uh, little barrels and no, okay. I'll uh, just go with table. There you are. Okay. Now we had a demon, right? We've we yeah, people are missing. Uh, down here. And of course, it's still here. We haven't actually dealt with it. So that's cool. Um, and there is still a corpse here. Um, yeah, so I was trying to get creative with, uh, you know, peeping in here and seeing what's what all is in here. Um, the answer is bad things. <laughs> uh, realistically, we... We revealed the spider demon in the safest way possible. Uh, it's stuck there. It can only shoot webs through this one little hole here. But we also revealed like a fire square at the exact same time. So a bunch of people got stuck and flamed at the same time. So we lost seven people to that. That was very cool. Uh, 
Um, and people are going to keep coming down here trying to retrieve this stuff. And they're not going to really succeed, are they? <laughs> um, how do we how do we fix that? Do we do we can we? Like there's there's goodies in here, right? But like at what cost? <laughs> um is really what it comes down to. We could So we probably I want to get rid of I want to I want to put in this I want to put a floor here. The people don't keep trying to go down that way. Uh, and then we'll see if they can grab this stuff. But ultimately, I just want to close this off, I think. Maybe we just do it like... So we, we, I don't think we could build something here. We could build it here. Let's do that. Let's see if that works. Snatchers. Oh, we're finally getting snatchers and stuff. Very cool. That's a thing we should do. We should actually build our surface defenses. I bet we're going to start seeing goblins soon. Um, we did see... Or I did I did a, make a little squad. We have a five-person crossbow squad, right? Should they get, like, real gear? Everyone's got leather stuff. Or at least I've attempted to make leather stuff. Uh, did that all happen? It all in theory happened, right? As long as I didn't like crash and undo it or anything. Uh, let's look at it. Let's look at everyone's gear. Uh, no one has pants. Some people have shirts. Okay. I mean, we have a bunch of stuff, right? I've been making leather boots and leather armor for everyone. Um one thing that I was thinking about. So we have... This is all set to wear over clothing. I wonder if I just set it to replace now. Let's do that with, with, uh, with this squad and see what that does. Whoops. Whoops. Well, yeah, so now, now they have now they have their stuff. Okay, maybe that's what we want to do. And you should all have like crossbows. Oh, we probably need to make more crossbows. Okay. Um let's do like ten wooden crossbows is probably fine. Uh and we're making iron bolts. I should probably also make like a bunch of quivers and backpacks. Because we have a bunch of leather now, right? We traded, we successfully traded and got a whole bunch of leather. Okay, so I'm gonna use the leather. I'm also gonna tell, let's see, can I? to, yeah, uh, leather armor replace, confirm and save, and then I'm going to take everyone, come on, and assign them, no, assign uniform, leather armor repli, there. Now you all can get stuff. Or maybe we need more pants. Okay, pants and boots. That's fine. Leather leggings. And leather high boots. Now everyone will have clothing at the very least. Look at all these. Yeah, everyone just took off their shoes in the temple. <laughs> okay, fine. When we were working on this guild hall and we did make it a guild hall so that's that's good um, in theory we will have some slabs let's see if I can come in here and yeah, okay we're so we're making rock slabs another beast 
Oh, right. An enormous quadruped composed of coral. Coral? Oh, that's terrifying. Uh, it has a short horn and it appears to be emaciated. Where it's deadly spittle. Neat. Okay. Um, can I engrave? So we have, I kept our, this. So we have Sigin. Uh, Sigin Dusim says you're, you're entombed, so we don't have to make a thing for you. Uh, the cattle. So you, you need one. And then Iden. And Moldath? I haven't seen that name before. Uh, and Vutok. And let's see if... See if that works. They'll probably just cancel a bunch of those immediately. Um, oh, but I want to see where this beast is. Yeah, this one. Uh, you're all the way down. You're in cave... This is cave three, right? Under lichen. Ashes. Oh, you're just lighting everything on fire. That's neat. Where did the fire come from? This one doesn't breathe fire, I didn't think. It had deadly spittle. Um, uh, yep, you're, you're, the, you're the new one. Do you have any kills? No. Description. Yeah, deadly spittle. Do we have another fire breather in here? We must have. Oh well. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna make sure these happen. Okay, good. You're still making slabs, good. Uh, so we got Vutok, we should do Estith. And Edzel. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the seventh person we got in a tomb. That's all seven people that we lost. So we'll just make sure to place those. We should probably also dig some more uh, tomb space. We're doing this. Let's just dig all of that. So far, so good. Um, everyone just put all of their clothes in their, their bedrooms. That's fine, because I haven't given them actual cabinets. Whatever. Um, I do think I want everyone to have beds, at the very least. Uh, my Also, my brain is just completely rotted out right now. So, that's fun. happy, right? Um, we don't have any emotional crises going on. Uh, we have we have some surface walls, but we don't really have like a defensive structure. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put a wall around the top there. Um, how do we want to do that? I have like an inside way. So I want to make like a gatehouse, right? Our previous thing had a internal access but I don't have I don't have a thing that works quite the same way maybe we do it like this let's say I'll start with the stairs I 
Uh, or do we, we dig down first, maybe? Uh, so we could say start here. That, yeah, that's that seems right. And then we'll go down and we'll have to adjust a bunch of this stuff. Uh, but then, yeah, then there is the, the way that our people will get there. Right, and then I guess let's um, I won't connect these quite yet. Um, but you'll do you'll do that, and then I'm going to construct stairs up from there as well, like this. Oh, but I don't want you to use closest. I want you to. <sighs> Miss DF hack if only for for that stuff. Uh, select. I'll come up here, and then I'm also gonna. We also want the ability to get to the roof, right? Because we're to, in order to make a roof. Uh, so let's do let's do shale. Probably just the whole thing out of shale. Um, and then here, I guess same deal, right? We're gonna go up. Oh, but you you can't do it into a stockpile. Okay. I'm just gonna remove all of that, so we're gonna build a wall around it. Uh, and we'll do stairs. Up and up. And also shale. And then that's all fine. Okay. And then we'll do a wall like this. this and then like this but that's gonna cut off our access to it so I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave one open uh, but then yeah then we're gonna come like this or we can't can't make stuff up there because I haven't built the stairs to get up there quite yet. Um, but I'm just going to build like a little room that kind of sits on top here with fortifications around it. And then I'm going to build um, a, a patrol route that goes around this, this square. That's going to be it, really. And that will all be closed off and I'll even put in some like cage traps in here just in case in case, uh, Mistem has mandated the construction of goods. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I'll just do... This is fine. That's up, down, that's up, down, that's up, down. Good, good, good. So then I think that all seemed to work. They're all so fast at this now. Uh, so I think our, our gatehouse itself do maybe up to here. Need to be huge, but I want it to have a little. Well, it might be a little wide. Let's go a little narrower. Do like this. Uh, Shell, where'd you go? There you are. There you are. Except these need to be fortifications, not walls. Look at me doing good. I'm gonna build fortifications out of shale blocks. Thank you. Okay, third try is the charm. Like this, and we'll do 
shale. And then same thing here. even do like this. Why not? Um, and then I'm gonna not do this one because it'll be our little entrance type thing. And then we're gonna build a floor. silly fashion, but that's fine, I guess. <laughs> hello, hello. Glad I could catch you live as well. Excellent. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm working on a gatehouse for our little above ground structure because we just had some snatchers show up. So I'm kind of expecting maybe some goblins today. Um, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I want to build I want to build a roof here, right? So let's do might be a different material just to conserve. Yeah, so let's do uh what do I have a lot of? Not a lot. Maybe I'll wait for them to make more. I'll just wait for them to make more. They'll work on it. Uh we probably have some more uh, what you call it? Uh, slabs to place, which go here. Uh, yes, I want to select. There's two. What's that? I. Bear with me today. Oh my goodness. Slab. You. Slab. You. Okay, so I think we want... I think we're waiting on one more. Uh, it looks like it might have been done already. Unless they cancel it. Interrupted by Spider Demon. Probably a lot of people trying to go downstairs to um, do those things. There's going to be a complete waste of time. Well, that's cool. Uh, it's winter, so our waterfalls are going to slow down a bit, but, you know, that's fine as well. Um, and then this. This has been done, and there's cage traps in there, so I'm going to go ahead and dig this open and close this side. has given birth to kittens. Uh, our person wants a thing. You want picks? We can make some picks, I guess. Um, I don't even have, like, copper. Do I just make iron picks? I'm not gonna set up a whole copper industry just for a couple things. If you keep asking for it, though, you might. We might make some copper. Uh, Crundles are fighting. That's all fine. Masterpiece wolf leather backpack. Cool. Uh, yeah. We're so we're making we're making a bunch of stuff. Um, that's all fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. Okay. You're all gonna f work on this. Of course, I have to, like, manually come in and, and make sure you actually finish all these things because I'm not doing DF hack stuff. 
Oh, you, you need to pause because, yeah, you need to be on first. Oh, right to the corner thing. I guess they can get out to the side. Cool, cool. And, oh, I need and and you. Now, I didn't have luck with like specifying shale blocks early on because you know things were a little tentative to start with. Uh, wow, they've have you finished? giving to output, right? Why have you actually been studded? Or you're all just still waiting? Uh, they've been encrusted. Superiorly designed image of gizzard stones in clear tourmaline. Why? Why? <laughs> Asag is a large handheld straight roller. Yeah, okay. So there's we have a bunch of instruments that have been encrusted but not studded yet. So I'm going to keep telling them to uh, stud with gold. He might be out of gold, maybe? I kind of doubt it. Uh, either way, I'll tell you to do that. And then let's come back into our... into here. Uh, I didn't mean to press that button. So this is just for blocks in general. Um, but I think... It says it's it's satisfied. How many... So what do we have for shale rock? Maybe that's what I should check. Stones shale. We have a bunch of shale. So I'm going to add an additional job. Uh, rock blocks. I'm going to specify that this is for shale. Because we have a decent amount of that. Uh, and say... I want to keep a hundred shale blocks on hand. Two, five at a time. And there we go. Do that, please. And we have a lot of people sitting around kind of doing things. So I'm wondering if we... Yeah. Look, they're all they're all wearing their leather stuff. <laughs> See, you're technically not naked. Fawn is talking with an acquaintance. Ejected, caught in the rain. But you're yeah, you have nothing but the things I told you to have. Wow, look at this. Is that for you? You need to put some pants on. You, like, look at this. Masterpiece leather armor and boots and leggings and everything. So that's, um, that's nudity taken care of without having to make any clothing. That's all just leather stuff. Uh, and they have a little bit of defense so they can hopefully, uh, survive some stuff. Are they gonna be able to do that? Do I need to... I always forget about the um, <laughs> the corner the corner thing. Oh, not okay. And we have we have nineteen shale blocks. And of course, we'll have to build. Those before we can get over there, that's fine. We have 14, and we have 15. Look at that! Look at that! And then the last one can be for, for this right here. Boo. 
Perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay, so that's all cave stuff. Don't care. Interrupted by spider demon. That's just gonna keep happening, isn't it? Did, did this happen? No. Hmm. Just gonna keep coming down here and canceling. Ugh. They all, yeah. Doesn't help to just have a million people in there at one time, does it? Let's. I think this is the block they were gonna use. Just, how about you just stop? How about you all just ignore that? What are you, what are you trying to do? No job? Okay. Why don't you just go home? Like, let's, let's, I'm uncovered. This is so embarrassing. Well, go get your things. Go get your pants. There are pants. We have made pants. I have made pants. Let's just do another, let's do another 10. Realistically, they can just go stand in a waterfall and be a little happy, but that's... <laughs> I can also make them pants. Okay. And of course, our tree is going to be, like, right in the way. Hmm. I can't just, like, prune the tree, can I? I can't... Oh, I can build here. Like this. That's going to be 30. My goodness. Well, hold off then. Now, what else? So we have five ranged people training. I think maybe I want to bulk that out a little bit. We have all these people standing around. Um, does anyone have any relevant skills? Legendary Marksdorf. Oh, because you're one of our hunters, aren't you? Our manager. Uh, mayor is kind of, yes, okay. Our manager is apparently a high master because you're a hunter and you're a hunter. We only have the two hunters. Yeah, you. You're just gonna get conscripted, that's fine. Oh, and you. haven't really been doing the engraving. Maybe we should do that. Um, we probably have better people for it anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna come to the bottom here. Peasant. Peasant. Uh, water. Tanner. Peasant. You have to know that if you embark to some place that doesn't have a military and you call yourself just a peasant, then you're probably going to get conscripted, right? That, that can't be a surprise. <laughs> Are they set to... This squad is set to train there. You're also training here, and then you're all your stuff is in there. Perfect. say let's put your your train job up to five equip hallway sleep at barracks uh, okay and then once we have you know, something to be patrolled, then I will put someone on patrol duty. Where are we at? Where's... 
See, now we already have another 29 shale blocks. That's too much. Now, other than that, what are we doing? We're we're still studying. Our our, our shops look okay. Um, are we still fishing? We're still fishing. We're not locked to it. Maybe they should be. Maybe you should just fish if I want shells. And let's go for shells. Um, I'll make you not an engraver. Um, we have a better... Look, you're better at this anyway. Yeah, we'll call you an engraver. Uh, and then I'll come down to like our, our temple stuff. And you can just start engraving. Lamp. Engrave. Forever, please. Uh, and then these are... These did stop. Are we out of gold? We have iron. We have gold bars. We have platinum bars. So then why? Um, I could even just tell them to... Make more instruments. Make more osigs. See, I'm curious. Or, you know. I'll do it from, I'll do it from here. Uh, make. Or is it going forge? Tell you to make it out of platinum and make make me 50. Just keep making stuff, please. And so those stud ones aren't gonna take work orders, so they won't be doing that. So then I'm just gonna tell you to start doing the studying again. Other hold stud. It'll work eventually. Now... That got done. Perfect. You're gonna go fishing... I assume. And there, okay, so now it says 95,000, but that's lower. We, we were at like a hundred something. So yeah, um, the numbers. The numbers are a bit strange because like, you know, obviously there is the reality of what we have in our fortress, right? We have we have a discrete number of items and they all have a set value, but we don't necessarily get to see what things are. We get to see what we think they are. Um, the, the amount of wealth that we have in our fortress, how accurate that is, is determined uh, by the skill of our broker, um, the appraise skill in particular. Now, I was reading about that skill because it's a bit... I don't know. Um, the the impactful part is that you only get experience for appraising with trade caravans. Um, specifically, when a trade caravan comes in and unloads all their stuff into a depot, and then you tell your person to go trade, you opening up that menu, that is the person in the depot is like appraising all the stuff on the caravan. So when you open up that menu, that is what gives experience towards appraiser. Apparently, I'm, I'm learning all this stuff out now, basically. Um, 
Of course, that can only happen once per, per caravan. So the first time you open it, the person who is in the trade depot gets XP. So you, if you want to train, you know, a good appraiser, you need, you need to use the same person each time. And you need to at least open up the menu for every single caravan. Even if you don't trade with them, you should just open the thing and then you get the experience of appraising the caravan stuff. Um, and that kind of explains some of our shortcomings. They look perfect. Uh, if only because we've only seen dwarves so far. Uh, we haven't seen we haven't seen any elves and we haven't seen any humans uh, come to try to trade with us. And in the in the sense of you know actually trading with people, that's not that big of a deal. I don't really care to trade with the elves, right? They don't have a whole lot for us right now. They could probably bring us a bunch of wood. Not that we really need that either. Um, do I have hatches? I have no hatches? Okay, fine. Rock hatch. Let's do ten of those, whatever. Um, but that means at this point we've only had three opportunities to actually train our appraiser. There's the, you know, the first winter... So the winner of 149, 150, and this most recent. So yeah, we've only had three caravans show up in this fortress so far. So our appraisal skill is kind of mediocre right now. So that means that all of our numbers here are kind of all over the place. Um, our, our broker is doing his best to estimate how much wealth we have, uh, but we have a bunch, right? <laughs> we have a whole bunch of stuff uh, and a lot of high value stuff, and it's all moving around. Half of it's in, not even in stockpiles at any one time. So, you know, we haven't really made it easy for him. Did I ever actually link these to anything? No, I didn't. I should probably link these, shouldn't I? I'm actually making defenses. Uh, trade Depot Fort Entrance, Cave One Door. There we go. Um, gate, house, outer. This is Gatehouse Inner. Gatehouse Inner links to that one. Perfect. Okay, fine. Uh, and we still need, they're not, I haven't made them yet. Okay, fine. I'll give them a minute. Um, oh, and we, we, is it the one person I didn't, I didn't set one of our, one of our slabs. No, you, you just didn't get placed. Okay, maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's that one. Uh, but we do have one more to place. That one and then that's that's six right so that should be all of them yeah so or no didn't actually tell you to do that uh once these two get placed then we should be dealing with our ghosts they're all still dealing with the spider demon can you all just stop maybe can i just forbid all this stuff how Oh, that's the ghost. Because they hang out near where they're dead. That's right. That's a thing they do. Hello, hello. How's it going? Um, I, I have a ghost next to my spider demon. I'm just going to forbid this junk here. I don't want them coming down here. You don't, you don't really need to be down here. They're just canceling out. They're coming all the way down here and then canceling their job and going back upstairs. We're working on surface defenses and training up a Mark's Dwarf squad. And uh, there we go. Put the rest. Thank you. And cranking up more wealth. 
Um, I think we have more wealth than this is saying. But that's because our, our broker is only moderately trained at appraising. Dwarves are amazing at not doing the thing you want them to do while doing all the things that will get them killed. It's very, very true. My goodness. Like little children. Uh, so let's go like this. Shale blocks. Now we have a roof. And then we can continue our, our wall thing. Let's go like this. And then like this. And then like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so we have more platinum instruments being made. We're we're decorating the ones that we have. I'm hoping the things that I'm hoping for today. A several migrants. We're we're halfway to our population goal. If we can get another seventy dwarves in here, then we're we're set for population. Um, <laughs> I'm just going all the way around. I guess that's fair. Um. But then I, I, I mean, I want to, we want to defend here, right? We don't want people coming in and, and killing our people, because that would be counterproductive. But I'm also thinking about the world map as far as us attacking goes. Because there's a couple different things we could do. There's all these human sites around us. Human camp, human camp, pregnant typhoon. Okay. Um, there's a human town. There's like several in a hamlet and a, a shrine in a habit, uh, a hamlet. There's all this stuff like right next to us. And we could, we could attack the humans and capture these sites and, and request those people to us. That would increase our population. Um, but I'm also hoping that we can get uh, like a helix to actually spawn next to us, because that's a thing that I'm I'm hoping for as well. Um, I think these are all these are all steps. There's I mean there's hills up here. I don't know if that's quite close enough. A day's travel. I mean so I tried to embark to a place where. Uh, where Hillux could spawn around us. We'll see if it actually happens. Uh, but I want that to happen, because then we could request people from that. Uh, I would also love to have... a Baron? The thing about Barons and Holdings... I was reading the wiki. It used to work one way, and now it works a different way. And I'm having a hard time understanding which way the current version works. Um, you either need a baron for holdings or you need holdings for a baron. So one of those two things is bound to happen. Um, we meet... Do we meet the... It's... it's you need to create 100,000 and export 10,000. So we've exported enough. We've exported half as much as we need for our, our final goal, realistically. Um, but I think our, our created wealth is realistically a little bit higher than that, but I think the game treats the number that we think it is as the real number in a lot of contexts, so, you know, that's cool. Do I have... Here, there we go. do fortifications all the way across like this. But I don't have enough yet. That's fine. Um, and we're needing more platinum. Of course we are. We should search for more platinum. Because uh, some of this stuff... Like here's... Yeah. More, let's... So gems. We want gems, for sure. Uh, but I'm, all, I'm 
mostly looking for platinum. I think there's still some... We haven't mined out everything. I don't think. Um, if I come down here... There was something. There's limonite. Um... Oh, but the, the, the world map. Like, do I... Do I make a bunch of iron gear and outfit a bunch of dwarves to go attack the world map? Or do I focus our attention here and hope we can attract people in a in the more peaceful way? Um, some here's you, platinum, platinum, and the rest is magnetite. Yeah, and that's all magnetite. Oh, but there is platinum in here. So yeah, let's do some. More tunnels. Uh, and then I swear I saw some here. We'll just do like this. There's Cassiterite, which is cool and all. Orthoclase, sandstone. I'm gonna go. Maybe we go. Maybe we could do like this later. Where there's some platinum, there's probably some more platinum. There's platinum. All magnetite. Holy cow! Maybe I—I I think I um, I set my my minerals to a lot of minerals. And they're all gonna get weirded out by all the. There's aquifer in here, of course. Uh, is this all magnetite? Wow. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna break open the wall. My goodness. Something like that. <laughs> we have a giant cave spider, apparently. Everyone doing stuff? No. Mm. Well, if we're mining more platinum, then they're gonna go down and uh, grab it. I do have a bunch of gold, though. And in theory, I have a job for smelting all gold just forever, right? Smelt gold ore. Yeah, so that should be going. Um, that should be going. And then we don't have aluminum here. Yeah. Tempted to make a separate pile for platinum, but maybe not. Because we are getting a lot more gold than all the other things. Yeah, it's just this. Need some more wheelbarrows. Well, cool. they are, they're <laughs> getting my stuff done, that's for sure. Ugh, 
you're gonna cancel all this stuff. That's real cool. Is there an actual... Okay, so it's draining. We're not drowning ourselves at the very least. Resolve Galena. This layer might have some stuff on it. Magnetite. It's all magnetite. Okay. And there's more platinum over there. Truly, some of this will be actual platinum. This is a little silly, but we have the labor to spare, I think. We're making our bone figurines, so that's good. Someone's making masterpieces of those. Oh my goodness. That's some lignite. everything. Just dig out this whole freaking map. Why not? Limonite. What if I just do this whole, this whole cluster of floors I think could potentially have stuff. some platinum. There. There. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I just tell them to ignore the fact that they're gonna flood themselves? No need to worry about it. I got you, I swear. Noxious. I want to even then I I screwed it up. Or do I just mine it out and like this whole wall is platinum? This whole wall is platinum. You know what? Screw it. Nothing's flying out and eaten our faces off yet. This is also platinum. Why not? I want platinum, I'm gonna take the platinum. Silver's okay. Silver's not platinum, though. Like marble and stuff, though. I just don't want to waste my time with steel if I can help it. 
Uh, okay, let's finish our, our floor first. Oop. Oop. Bam. Uh, oh, and I'm gonna lock these. <laughs> or something happens. Yeah, I get it. You're canceling everything. It's fine. Um, this is more platinum. That's more platinum, people. Have to rebuild this whole wall of the cave. That's fine. I'll even put in some fortification so we don't flood ourselves. For that reason, I disable announcements for council work. Fair, but I don't... You still have to put them back in, right? I want them to not cancel. bunch in here too. No, maybe not. Okay. Okay. Some migrants have arrived. Very good. I turned on the announcements for those things. Now we can see when they happen. So now we have one. We're at 70 when we're starting. You are an animal dissector. The best way to get what you want out of life is to work for it. That's fair, I guess. Uh, a healthy fish cleaner. We one should always respect the law. Yeah. yeah. It's great when we all get a chance to be married together. And a chicken. And friendship is forever. Yes. Yes. I've been considering or shit saddle cradles. Okay. I'm not going to change my mind. Everything's all right. It's great to. It's great when we get the chance to be married together. Don't get on my bad side. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Uh, we should all be so lucky as to truly master a skill. This is... Who cares what they think? This is a, a healthy sized wave so far. We're up to 13. Wouldn't feel comfortable getting all dressed up. <laughs> You're in luck. <laughs> Here's your leather armor. We should all work together. I'm doing well. I've been well. Interesting. I could do without all those creatures and that tangled greenery. Okay, get inside. A skilled warrior is a beautiful sight to behold. We'll see if we get any of those. And that's it. So that's 18. So that's another mediocre wave, right? Um, not bad, but we could do better. There's, there's room for improvement on this run already. Um, quite a bit, actually. A metalsmith guild has been established. Well, they haven't asked for anything yet, so I'm not going to get it to them. Momarian? What is a Momarian? What the heck? I've never seen that one. Uh, where's the live one? Do we have a live one? We have caged goblins already. I didn't catch that we caught them. That's cool. Uh, Momarian. It's a mole centaur? Description. A hideous monster that has the body of a giant mole rat and the torso of a mole rat man. Gross! <laughs> I've never seen that. It's fantastic. 
gross, but cool. You're the beast. Great feathered gecko. Neat. Pluto Uxuim. It has two narrow tails and undulates rhythmically. Eyes glow green, but where it's deadly dust. I should make sure that we have our caves closed off. This is in cave one. Uh, can you fly? I hope you don't fly or anything. Pluto Blaze Jackal, the mirrors of scalding. Uh, well, if it takes off into the air, we will know. Um, luckily, the, the caves themselves are closed. And also flooded. So enjoy that. But you don't seem to be coming up for us. Um, so it might be cave two that we're opening. Where's my where's my little tunnels? Yeah, this must be this must be cave two. Don't know it connects. It totally connects. Okay, so let's make sure that they're let's make sure we're actually closed off before some bad things happen. Fortification, uh, whatever closest, and then you are mostly closed, not really closed though. Did like straight across or something. Uh, and then we haven't opened up bees at all. Petition. Oh, now they want a guild hall. We've had three guild hall requests and a organized religion request, and we have had zero people want to actually stay in our fortress. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. We can dig. We can dig you a guild hall. And we'll just go here. You're still canceling all the things. Oh my god. Of course all the goodies are in the aquifer. I'll deal with the aquifer more than I'll deal with the demon pit. all these gems. Okay. That's not bad. It's all got mostly closed? Yeah. Uh, oh, in there too. I want to see it update. Oh, it's just it's just water. Okay, I guess that's fine. So one of my my thoughts for you know another attempt at this is to make sure we're embarking to a place where we can get traders from all three civilizations, so that we can get the maximum amount of appraiser skill. So we can actually know what we have. Oh, look. A Fey Mood. Claim Day Bone Decorate. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's some platinum. There's some platinum. There's some more. Um, is this? I don't know if there's aquifer here. I guess we'll find out. No. This. You have what you need here. You're grabbing stuff. I must have rough gems. Well, I did just tell him to cut out a couple of gems. We really cut all our gems. No, we have rough gems. Okay, so what do you really want? Bones we have. Rough gems we have. Rock we have. Bones we have. Lots of bones. That's fair. Have we... Or do we have bones? We're out of bones. We're boned on bones. And there's like no wild animals out here. There's just stuff in the caves. Hmm. Bones. <laughs> hello, hello. How goes the fortress? It goes well. Uh, we have a moody dwarf who wants bones, and we're out of bones. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> this is not the bone zone. Not currently. Uh, we're gonna kill... Uh, we don't need all these cavey sounds. Sorry, hamsters, but... Uh, we only have so much fortress space. Uh, and then maybe, maybe the mule, too. Oh, and this, this one is someone's pet. We'll, we'll, we'll geld that one. <laughs> and we'll, okay, do that one. Yeah. We have a lot of cats, too. Should I geld the cats? Everyone keeps showing up with more cats. That's all fine. Okay. Um, working on building a wall for, or a, a parapet around our wall. Uh, and we have some dwarves who are training their Marksdorf skill. I think we're going to start getting some goblins soon. No, that was, that was wrong. Floor. Shell. Okay. Uh, but we have a nice little gatehouse here already. Uh, so we'll just build a, a walkway and then a fortification all the way around and then I'll tell people to start patrolling. And hopefully that's all we need to do. Oh, and we should chop down any trees that are touching the wall. I'm not going to build a road all the way around. Yeah, you... You should go away. Those are fine. Yeah, that's fine. And everyone's wearing their leather. Look at how uniform everyone looks. Uh, we have we have leather gear for everyone, and everyone's in a squad. Though I guess our most recent migrant wave, I still need to assign to squads, uh, which means we're gonna need more leather stuff. But, uh, like, only a couple people are naked, and that's because they choose to be. I guess I don't know. Uh, but let's make sure everyone's in a squad. We did, I guess we did lose some people. <laughs> We're back up to 88. We are, we are getting migrants. We're not on our own out here. Okay, so that's our actual squad. You are good. You are good. You need a couple more.
And we need one more. Uh, leather armor replace. Clam. 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 There. Now you're all in a squad. You're all assigned a uniform. Now let's do more leather armor. Leather leggings. Leather high boots. I'm gonna say like 20 of each again. And look, I told them to make four, 50 more platinum instruments. Or did I actually successfully tell them? I don't think I actually told them to make them out of platinum, but. Uh, well, maybe, maybe I did. Let's see. Musical instruments, platinum mossigs, platinum thickets. Perfect. So yeah. And these are worth about the same. Uh, we are we are slaughtering things. Did you you grab some more um, mule bones? I need more. We have rough gems, we have rocks, we have bones. Hmm. We need to butcher more things. We have one person working on engraving. Oh, and our goblins are here. Hilarious. Uh, what do we do with our snatchers? I can't, like... You can't train them. <laughs> uh, pretty sure. These are, they're others, right? Yeah, they're caged prisoners. It could be practice. I don't know that we need practice. What are you wearing? Wow, you have actual silk stuff. Why? I told you all to wear leather. Corner's done. Wait. <laughs> okay. You're still... You're still going on. About needing more stuff. We have so many rough gems, right? We have we have a whole box of rough gems. Look at all this stuff. All this stuff that hasn't been moved. Why? Because you're linked, right? You're giving out to stud output. And stud output can take musical instruments. Oh, except I need to do like that so that it's actually of, of type. Maybe that'll help. Statues. Uh, come on, dork. You can do it. Okay. I think they are now. They're moving their stuff. Okay. 
food. Good, good, good. There, yeah, okay. <laughs> you were carrying a lot. No wonder you were moving so slowly. See, things that are not in stockpiles, I think it doesn't necessarily count things that aren't in stockpiles. Maybe that's some of our hang-up, too. I think they're just take. I think they're just putting them back up here. What? I don't know why, but okay. Have you grabbed more bones? No. Do I need to kill more things for you. How many must die so you can make your trinkets? I don't care about horses. We've made our 50 thickets. And people are still getting interrupted by spider demons. I don't know why they're coming down here. You don't... There's nothing here for you. See if that works at all. And of course, all of the <laughs> all of the stupid aquifer. Platinum, platinum. to jade cluster or hematite it's all gonna be it's all gonna be wet no more aquifers Platinum. I'll just flood this cave too. Why not? Why not flood the world? Ugh. Okay. This is all gonna be wet. down a little bit or how about let's actually google what layers platinum shows up in uh, Okay, you actually found your bones. Hooray. Uh, this doesn't give platinum nuggets. That's what I should be looking at. 
Uh, location, alluvial layers of small clusters, olivine is veins, magnetite is veins, chromite is small clusters. Okay. So we should be mining out the magnetite just to find uh, the platinum. Magnetite and olivine. Okay, you made Mangrod Mangrodnacor. A granite scepter. That's a classic classic uh, artifact right there. Claims it as an heirloom. That's fair enough. Um, okay, so then let's find let's find magnetite that is not in an aquifer. <laughs> How about that? Or olivine for that matter. all this olivine olivine okay so we should just dig out like this no that's not here like this and there's there's some olivine we're on negative 63 um i'm curious if Sometimes a layer will, you know, mean it's there's there's more of it nearby, right? Um, oh, and here's olivine. So this is we found platinum in the olivine here. Interesting. We'll just keep, keep digging. Keep digging. Here's here's more olivine. Do like this, and then what's this? Chromite? Yeah, okay. There's olivine, okay. Lesson learned, olivine is a thing to look for, for platinum. Cool, and I'll give you something. there but we're getting there all the damp stone yes thank you stone carvers fighting the cat is fighting oh because we were building things still being interrupted by spider demon has anyone made this no <laughs> just nobody come down here just nobody nobody do this this is a bad place. Uh, how about I just... Here. Wow. How about that? As much as I kind of want back in there, we could come in from like this side, but like... Is it worth the struggle to deal with all that? I guess we'll see. Let's let's try a run where we're not really dealing with with all the shiny things down there. So now we're at 99,000. We're grabbing more 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 platinum. Maybe I just keep making maybe I just keep making instruments. They successfully made as many as I asked for. Because I even made like a hundred of these and we traded like four away. I just asked them to make 50 of these. So they are successfully making them. Look, this is like 4,000 on its own for a masterpiece. I'm gonna put in another, I'm gonna put in another order. Them, and we're gonna make 50 of them. Keep going. These are these are empty now. Now all the stuff are in. They're all in things, right? 
There are in stock files. Porcelain statue of Swing Langood Swamp Canyon. Of course you trapped yourself. Why wouldn't you trap yourself? Ugh. Now someone has to come down and help you. Because you can't take that job. For whatever... For whatever reason. Hmm. Maybe I just want like a wall... Here. you do that one? Unless you trap yourself on the wrong side again? No, stop. Stop. gonna come and rescue you <laughs> oh my goodness okay and now it's summer we're going quick Could, I could spend all day playing around down there, and I don't think that's a valuable use of our time. As much value as is down there. Uh, shale. No, nope, still needing more. Okay. We still have more shale to use. There was a, a guild hall that someone wanted. That's right. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah. And then. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Now. It was a metal worker? Yeah. The Tin Irons. That's a name. Uh, let's go ahead and smooth. And give you some statues. As we have some of those. We should also be putting, um, are you, you actually got injured somehow. Okay. Um, we have chests full of instruments in here. I should also say like instruments desired, like 20. Uh, and same thing in here. You can just put in some chests. Uh, and we'll have to dig more rooms at some point. <laughs> All the clothing just exploded on the ground. Uh, 
yeah, okay. So then let's just, let's dig this. Still waiting for people to actually show up and use our our long stay rooms. No one's actually petitioned to stay with us. caravan oh see now now we're gonna get a human caravan okay that's fine that works for me oh i didn't turn on the light for the cat cam it's just a pitch black void in there there's just a void hiding in the hole there we go surprise <laughs> i'm surprised that the uh the software could tell a difference that's set to tell like when what is being filmed changes. So it managed to catch that a cat moved in there even though the light was on. The light was not on. Uh, and this will be a nice test of our new... Uh, well, except I don't have my... Of course I don't have my traitor entrance opened. Uh, so you're all gonna have to go the long way in. That's fine though. Whatever. Doesn't really matter until we start getting caravans. Uh, which won't happen until we get a Baron. Snatchers. That's why we need to get a person on our wall. Nope, that was... So close to making it pretty. Might as well follow through. Shale blocks. No? Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to request my broker. Is Kumil still our, our highest... Kumil is a adept appraiser. I wish I could control F in here. I don't see anyone else with appraiser. Which isn't surprising if the trade depot is the only source of that skill. I was kinda hoping someone would have migrated, like a a master appraiser just migrated to us. That would be very useful. It does not appear that that has happened though. Liars and conversationalists. Okay. So now, uh, in theory, yeah, we have all these bins full of bone uh, figurines that we can trade with that are there for trading. Uh, so I want... No. So realistically, how much do they weigh? Let's at least grab a couple of those. Uh, I mean, 6,000, we want, so all told, we need to export 30,000, and we've done 14 or so. So we do want to ex, we want, do want to move some goods. Uh, here we go. Let's 
all these leather things. Uh, you can... You can take all that stuff, too. Not really worth much, but you can have it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Um, and then I probably want to... I do want to toss in like a couple more instruments, probably. And those are going to be in... What are those going to be? Like what's... What is this stockpile actually of? Stud input? It's going to be either finished goods or furniture. I don't know what it's going to show up as in here. Uh, we want bins. Here, so there's... So, okay, it's probably finished goods. I just do... Here, yeah, there we go. That one. That'll do it. So we're at 14,000-ish. That ish is always uh, going to come back to bite us, pretty sure. But if we can get ourselves over 30... My goodness. Uh, let's get ourselves over 30,000 export with this caravan. Uh, and then that will kind of pick that box, right? Um, I would I would hate for us to satisfy everything except for the exports and have to wait for a caravan just to do that. Uh, so let's let's try to get that done. Uh, Forgotten beast, Smuck Zoo, a gigantic skinless Gila monster twisted into humanoid form. Neat. Uh, you all good here? Well, our broker's still sleeping, so let's go check out our beast. He. Um, you're. This is also cave one. So you're going to find someone, yeah. And die. Uh, the guild hollow has been satisfied. Okay, good. Uh, oh, we're like... Hmm. <laughs> Have we... We have harvested everything out of our, our little courtyard, haven't we? Okay, well. Is there still is there still stuff on the ground? These are all leaves, plums. Okay. We need to go gather some stuff. Uh, because we don't want to not have booze. Um, but I'm gonna say that like all of this. Accept. And then all you slackers. My master herbalist. Expert herbalist. And then some more for good measure. Yeah. Go go pick some fruits. Go grab some half rotten fruits from last fall off the ground. So that we can <laughs> ferment them. Oh my god. We must be making a bunch of wealth if the Forgotten Beasts are going nuts like this. Uh, Kalar Shodokur Thining Amas. An enormous humanoid composed of salt. Neat. Where are you? Also Cave One? Maybe there's a troll there. The troll killed it. Cool. Sly Rages. You're almost dead, though. That was impressive, though. You killed a forgotten beast. More than most trolls can say. Now, hopefully some people come out here and... Are you... Yeah. Gather plants. Okay, good. Mayor's been re-elected. Some more migrants. Perfect. What I like to see. There's one. 
some birds, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, that's it. Oh, see, they're gonna start trickling out. Hmm. They haven't even broken a hundred. I was the smallest one, that, smallest one yet. Uh, okay, so then everything's here. So now, uh, let's look at our broker. Your skills, you are an adept appraiser. And then I'm going to open Lamb. And now you are still an adept appraiser. Okay. Um, did that change anything? Oh, but that did update some stuff. Look, we're at 160,000 now. Created wealth. I still think that that's a little low. Um, but we can do we can do our trading. Um, you did bring a bunch of wood for me, didn't you? And leather. And meat on plants. We might actually trade for some plants here. Leaves and fruit. Muskmelons and blueberries. Cheese. Don't really need cheese. Uh, let's take all your logs. If I did all your bins, that would be... Oh, do you really have... You don't have much, do you? Um, it's mostly going to be cloth, but I mean, if I'm going to be trading away a whole bunch of stuff, I might as well take what they have. I'm just gonna take this entire caravan. I don't need your meat. I don't need fish. Uh, I just want the things we can turn into booze. So like strawberries? Why not? Sure. to like okay. and see even that I'm only asking for 2300 worth of stuff that's a single instrument huh. uh, so yeah you can have all of that that's all good that's all good oh yeah all these figurines my goodness We've been busy, haven't we? Yeah, you can take all those. Uh, and all those. And then, yeah. See, there's are still appraising at around 3,000 apiece. So if I do... So I want to... I want to trade out, like... 20k? Just to give us some breathing room, I guess. And you're and you can take that much weight. Okay. So we're gonna re, we're gonna trade out 20k, which will bring us over 30k, which is what we need to do. Great. And did that increase your... There's still an adept appraiser. And those numbers won't update until... Uh, until they leave the map, I believe, is how that works. Yeah, go grab all the stuff. And we still have two full crates of bone figurines. Uh, okay, so we got those. We're still needing more platinum. And I'll always be needing more platinum. What's all this? Magnetite? So I should be I should be exploring in here. Except for the fact that it's a freaking aquifer.
Yes, yes. Is this even worth it? This is all just going to be bauxite. There's, here's hematite. Was it hematite or magnetite? I think it's magnetite, because that's... Yeah, okay. Magnetite makes sense, but this is all magnetite. Man. Um, any more? We see some there and there. Like, this is still magnetite, so we should keep... You know, exploring it. Native copper. There's great chance, Donnie. Mm, yeah. That's all whatever. Cassiterite, microplane. Place that we're digging. Granite, and this is all olivine. Yeah, so we were digging here. Here's magnetite, zircons, yellow diamond. Okay. Um, and like, here's chromite too. So let's just do like that. gold. You can auto mine this stuff. Look at all that gold. Hi. No. Hi. Yes. You heard that one? I have a, I have a sound like a, a floor on the microphone, so a lot of her, a lot of her noises don't get through. She makes a lot. Yeah. What's all this? Tetrahedrite. Tetrahedrite. Gold and gems and gold. All right. Now uh, we probably have more shale blocks. There we go. There we go. Now we have a wall. Uh, so now I am going to. Okay, and we're making drink. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, so I want to make a patrol route. Put the map to add points. Okay. Uh, so they're gonna start here because that's where this. Actually, no. Uh, they're gonna start like up here. I'm gonna do like this. Mm 
like that. Berm. Oh, and of course, I just told the entire squad to go patrol it, but that's like that's fine. You can just do that. And then I do want to come into your schedule. And so five of you are going to train. And then two of you are going to patrol the wall patrol. Like that. Perfect. So now I have finished our, our fortifications. Nice and safe. Now I just want to see someone patrolling. Aha, uh -huh. there you are. They're even going in opposite directions. Hilarious. Oh, you just changed your mind. <laughs> Okay, but this will help us spot snatchers and whatnot um, and chase off any badgers that decide to visit us. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work. Snatcher, no snatching, right? Also, hi. Some merchants will be leaving. Yes, okay. We did manage to trade. All the damp stone cancellations. Okay. Well, now what? We're we're still needing forty-four more people, and I swear our wealth should be higher than that, unless my mind is like completely rotted out. But we have a whole bunch of instruments that are, like, averaging 3,000 apiece. And I've made, like, 200 of them at this point. My biggest irritation in my fort is the two hump camels that like to wander in my fort. Not a big problem by themselves, but dogs like to pick fights with them. Yeah, dogs tend to lose those fights. Uh, the, like, day one of this fortress, all, like, we had two dogs, and they immediately went and said hi to all the badgers. And, like, one dog versus one badger, the dog probably wins. But, like, they keep doing it. Like, there's 50 badgers, and they just fight them, like, one at a time. They're eventually going to lose. So we, we lost our two dogs very early in this fortress. Um, okay, so then as far as our trade depot goes... I think we've taken all of our stuff out of here, right? That's all That's all trader stuff. Uh, so I'm going to open this door. And then close this door. See, I, oh, when camels spit, they act, are actually throwing up. Oh, that's gross. Well, it's like... They have like multiple stomachs, right? They're like regurgitating from like one of like their upper stomach. Isn't that how it works? Something like that. Uh, the hungry head is fighting. That's great. And we're like continually out of platinum, but you know, I guess I'm glad that we're using it. We made another 25. Um, we're... Meh. Uh, here's more olivine. And that's cobalite, not chromite. Cobalite. They're ruminators, but I don't know about multi-stomach, yeah. Are all, are all ru ruminants multi-stomach? I guess I kind of associate the two as being in the same animal, but I don't necessarily have to be. Are you, why 
what are you doing down there? Uh, we'll just dig out some more tunnels. Why not? Wires. Come here. You can be in my lap, just don't expect like my undivided attention. Come on, man. Get out. The wires are not toys. I know they look like it. Shoo! Alas, poor dwarf, I was willing to tolerate your tantrums for a while until he knocked over my main gate lever. Oh, that's a that's a good one. Uh, so now you just have to station yourself under this drawbridge I just happened to build right here. <laughs> uh, some uh, behavioral correction. This is the re-education bridge. Uh, okay, so we, we averted disaster with our, our drink situation. So that's good. I feel a little bit better with sending dwarves outside our wall now that we have patrollers on the wall. Uh, so that should work out just fine. This not get pulled. Oh, because I, I moved it and then it like... Yeah, okay. Camels have three stomachs. Yeah. So it's like, it's not technically vomit, right? Like, vomit implies it shouldn't come back up. Like, we, we, we vomit, we eat something that should stay down, and then sometimes things go wrong and we, and we vomit it back up. But like a camel, that's like their normal functioning, right? It's gross and rude, but I don't know... I don't know, vomit feels like the wrong word. Vomit makes it sound like it's food that would have stayed down there otherwise if they weren't pissed off at you. They 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 just they just do that. They just be that way. They're just gross. Imagine getting so pissed off you vomit on someone. <laughs> Imagine getting so pissed off at someone you blo you squirt blood out your eyeballs. That's a thing too. Not with camels. Um, so we should have we should have so much gold. Oh, we got a bunch of raw gems here again. Okay, so then let's let's start cutting these gems again. I feel like we should have enough wealth, but you know, see, okay, so now we have exported thirty two thousand thirty two thousand. Um, which is good. That's, um, that's where we want to be. So now we're just, now our trading is actually for, like, things we want. Um, and we'll, we're going to hoard all of our wealth now. Uh, so we'll wait until some more of those are made. We can make more statues. I mean, I just feel like... I feel like I shouldn't have to. But like our statues are furniture, our instruments are other? Hard to say. Um, we, we could keep making statues and we could also just make like uh, gold instruments. Like we have so much gold now. What if I just say forge? 
like if I could. Um, yeah, we have some gold. Make me 50 of those. How large does an instrument have to be before it's classified as furniture? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, I don't think they ever classify as furniture, but there are there are instruments that you can hand hold, hand hold uh, and there are instruments that you have to actually like place as furniture, um, and they and they don't move around. Uh, I, have, I don't think I've made any of those. Um, but if I go into, I mean, it is under the furniture thing. Um, instrument. I just don't have. Yeah, we don't have any big ones. I've been making the small ones on purpose because the bigger ones are more labor intensive, obviously. Um, but you can have like, um, like a giant gong kind of a thing, or like um, standing bell pipes, like uh, that you hit with mallets and whatnot. Those things show up all the time. Um, I'm just not making them. Like we're making all these pan flutes. We're making, we're making platinum vuvuzelas. Steinway percent speedrun. Yes, excellent. Um, but these are these are. Uh, the osig is a large handheld straight metal horn. Musician blows into the instrument, selects a pitch by restricting airflow out of the bell, and it's got four octaves, and they all kind of warble a little bit. We're making so many of those. We have, like, the entirety of our fortress's wealth is platinum vuvuzelas. Just as it should be. Um, I'm curious how we are on leather junk. Are you... You have the bits I care about. So whatever. Also, there is no trumpet emoji on Twitch. That's a crime. We need a dude emoji. Put that on the list. Put that on the... We should keep a list of, like, emotes that we want for the next batch. Because I have... The emotes are in! Y'all! We have new emotes. Look. Emotes! Aha! <laughs> Uh, so we should keep like a short list of, uh, of or like a wish list of emotes that we want. A dude would be very good. Uh, you've struck native platinum. Really? Look at this. We just went straight into it. Perfect. Look at all that. Uh, just auto mine that. Perfect. This is all fine. And this is just... Now, another Femud. What are you going to claim? We have claimed a stoneworker. And we have a petition for the Decisive Order, um, which is the organized religion that we've already made a temple for, and now they want, like, a better temple and a priest. Okay, fine. I know how to make your temple fancy enough for you. Uh, furniture. Statue. Blam. 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 That'll probably do it. And then you want a... Free to build temple. Oh, so it has to be it has to be a temple before I can assign a priest. That's fine. Okay, you found what you needed. That's cool. Two pieces of rock. Y'all need to be making more high quality artifacts for me. Our artifacts are so sad so far. Uh, we have. No, oh, it says 10,000. Okay. Uh, the priesthood of the decisive order is ready to be recognized. Very cool. This will satisfy the agreement. So, yeah, all it took was a handful of statues. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, very nice. That's very kind of you. Thank you for the gifted subs. Emotes for everyone. Yes. Excellent. Very, very good. Uh, recognize priesthood. So we... <laughs> the priesthood for this church is called Holy Nourishment. 
As a reminder, this is our death cult. <laughs> 75 of our 96 people are in this death religion. And now we're recognizing the holy nourishment. Uh, who wants to be the holy nourishment? Uh, okay, fine. Uh, an orthoclase ring. Cool. Uh, the cheesemaker, sure. Blessed be the cheesemakers. Cool. You're good, right? That satisfied the agreement. Uh, we should place the, uh, we should place, we should place that ring. What was it? Uh, orthoclase ring. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Ring. Oh, there it is. Okay. I stuck more native gold. Cool. Is what, Garnerite? Yeah. Gabro. Yeah. Yeah, look, we're finding more platinum. Yeah, everyone thank our Pinity for gifted subs. That's the... You did what, five? That's the biggest... That's, that's the biggest batch I've had. Does that put you in number one? It does. You are gifter leader now. Congratulations. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Uh, I write. Okay. Is there anything else? Ortho place. I hear mewing. I don't even know where she is anymore. Look at all these dwarves down here. That's like the most I've seen in here. Very, very good. Uh, so yeah, okay, we're back up to 235 drink. And we're, we're still sitting at 160 wealth made. I would... I want, I want holdings. I want Baron. I want, I want all the things. Not a beast. Not that. <laughs> uh, vit, vit, mit, vit, 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 A gigantic scaly scorpion. Ma large mandibles, undulates rhythmically. Everything undulates rhythmically. Find me a forgotten beast that is not undulating rhythmically. Black scales are blocky and set far apart. Dwarves poisonous sting. Okay, it's also in cave one. Vit worried witch. Or worried bewitch. Weird. I think it's because I gifted five subs and your plugin added all those dwarves for each gift sub. That could be. Well the so what happens is um the the plugin, the, the stream avatars, it only does people who are in chat. Um, or it does followers. Followers who are in chat get avatars. So they were probably in chat, uh, and then you just uh, made them followers <laughs> or something to that effect. Um, that's cool. Works for me. They all look like real people. I recognize these names. Yeah, none of them. I don't think these are bots. Hello, people. Oh, you won. Challenger has been victorious. Look at all this blood. Holy cow. Blood and mud. Okay. Um, so what are we... I mean, I'm like waiting for people to show up. Uh, we have a bunch of gold. And we're making... We're forging our, th our thicets. I undulate rhythmically. Does that make me a forgotten beast? I think so. I haven't seen anything undulate rhythmically that's not a forgotten beast. Are you older than time itself and have a thirst for mortal flesh? And are you attracted to uh, great piles of wealth amassed by other people? I 
and and what else would what else would make you a forgotten beast um, <laughs> are you a, are you a pseudo random amalgamation of random of of body parts and abilities i think all those are yes uh do we have we probably have some critters that i haven't assigned to our our pasture here um, oh, and our, our, our caged goblins. We have, a, yeah, we have a bunch of caged snatchers. Hooray. Okay. Uh, we should probably keep digging bedrooms, I guess. Yeah, that's what we were doing. We're getting all our people in. Not that they, like, need anything. Our waterfalls are, like, brainwashing everyone into being happy. Brainwashing? Like, literally brainwashing? Is that what we're doing? I swear, she's just... She's down there being a menace. Don't wash your brain too hard, lest it go smooth. Yeah. But I get more wrinkles when I go in the shower. Hi. Come here. Come on. Hi. Really, what you need to be uh, keeping an eye out for is... um. The tumble dry that'll 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 shrink it real good done okay i mean all that's good all that's yeah, we're making masterpiece gold instruments. And we're we're finding more gold. We're finding more uh more gems. Really, I should be like every time we find gems, I should like follow it down and actually mine out. You like that? Yeah. And now it's autumn. Hopefully we get some more dwarves. Dwarven caravan and another migrant wave. If we get lucky with these next two va ne like next two waves, we could potentially get there in like two waves. So long as we meet our we have to meet our um our wealth goal. Like another, you know, 20, 20 dwarves per wave uh, would get us there. That's all that. No, that's that's all stuff I don't care about. These I care. Meh. Is there stuff inside our encrust? Yeah, look at all this. So we can let's just start encrusting all this stuff. Uh, encrust. We'll start with the furniture. Uh, and then when you're out of that, you will encrust finished goods. There's stuff in here too, right? So now, now I want you to stud with gold, which is other gold stud. All right, and none of these are are clogged, all right? We we're good on all of our hauling. You're you're still making. You're just still making statues. We are still making statues. Is that just on repeat? 
just on repeat. Okay. That's fine. Um, I'm not doing any glass stuff. I kind of said screw it to glass. I'm not even making soap. Um, and then there's... We'll wait for this to fill up a little bit, but then we'll keep making stuff out of shell. That's fine. Um, and then our... Our bone crafts have stopped because we're out of bone, but that's fine. Um, we're good on, like, needing to trade things. Yeah, you're all... Oh, and this, of course. Uh, but that's, that's, that's its own thing. That's not because of us, that's because of the game. Uh, and we do still have some platinum here. Yeah, here we go. And they're, they're working on it. They're working on it. And yeah, here, we're, we're making gold and making platinum. I should also say, like, each of these only take one job at a time. They don't all just sit on the same shop forever. Because that's less efficient. I'm also still really curious why our, our frame rate never went up. I tried to raise it to 100, and it just kind of ignored me, right? Is there some other place I should be looking? Default 50. Where's the other... Where's the actual, like... Game speed cap. That's somewhere different. Uh, oh, and uh, Cold Dead Units app. I may. I wonder if we should up that. Do you do you think do you think we have a thousand dead units yet? We there's quite a few. There are quite a few, because now it's going to start counting all those crundles that the Forgotten Beasts are... Yeah. Huh. So we should... It should call at a lower value, right? Because if it gets... If the total number of creatures, including dead creatures, is over a hundred, or over a thousand, then we get capped on our migrant waves. All dead units at, let's say, 500. Done. Curious if that changed anything. Yeah? No, that, uh, dead. So we're still gonna have. Oh no! I think that got rid of a whole bunch of badgers. Oh, there's still a bunch of badgers. Hmm. We might not be kite at 500 yet. It's really hard to estimate from a scroll. Cave blob. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have 17 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 pages. Jeez. That's 425. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well... Why did you stop? You have plenty of things. And I know we have bars of gold, right? Yeah, we have gold. We even have platinum now. Uh, 
Uh, we could even say uh, stud with platinum, or do I save the platinum for making things with? Our appraiser is much more confident in uh, evaluating these now. <laughs> but like, yeah, like this bin is worth 32,000. Curious. Um, so I guess we do want to like crank out as much value as we can before our new before our uh, dwarven caravan shows up because that's our chance to tell the world what we have here. You are you are slowly engraving. You are a talented engraver. Okay. One person engraving. Okay. Why not? Let's, uh, I mean, that counts as wealth, right? We can just smooth the fortress. You're all just standing around doing nothing. How about you smooth the fortress? Caravan! Speak and you shall receive. And yeah, smooth all the things. That's all smooth. Our water wheels never really worked. I don't know why. with all the bedrooms. Hey look, a petition. Is that all I had to do? Decisive order has many worshippers. Oh my goodness. You want even more stuff. Everyone is in this one this one religion. Okay, but that's fine because all you care about is the value of that one room. And guess what I can do? Uh statue? Or I do want to I want to pick it, but like they're all they're all gonna be decorated. Uh, select. Yeah, decorated. Masterfully decorated. Masterfully decorated. Exceptionally decorated. Yeah. How do you like that? It's currently sitting at nine thousand. It needs ten thousand. You're gonna get it. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, uh, we have our liaison. Merit deserves reward! I have come in power to establish this colony as an official land of our realm. We're gonna get a baron. Can you imagine the trade wagons? Of course, there are responsibilities and the nobility must live well. Well, we can give them some horns. Uh, do you have anyone suitable? Sure. I don't know who to pick, though. Uh, it doesn't, it don't matter. It don't matter. Let's do... What do we do? Captain of the Guard. So we have people that are called traitors, but I don't think that they're even better than our, our current traitor. Uh, I don't care. We don't really care who it is. Bookbinder, you. Okay. Uh, bring me some more leather. I will probably always want more leather. Uh, and then maybe... We could ask for gems? Can I ask you for, like, the expensive gems? Not that I would want to actually trade you for them. No, but if you... No, that is a good idea. So if you import something, it does not count towards your created wealth. But if you use it for something, then it does. Oh, hydrate. I'm gonna have to get more water. Uh, so if we import really expensive gems and then use those to encrust something, 
not only does that like they get multiplied because of the decoration but then they become created wealth when they weren't even dug out of our ground so that's that's what we should do and then what else i don't think i care about anything else okay repaired meals and thread okay Um, and then, and then our traders are here, so I need to request our broker. And we're gonna move some goods, but I don't really need to move a whole lot of value here, right? If at all. I care more about getting XP on our, on our trader than, uh, actually trading. Finished goods. Where's my figurines? Mm. How about you? All these totems, yeah. Totems and mugs. See, this one bin is worth 32,000. My goodness. Well, let's see how this number updates once we get our guy some more experience. Uh, while they move all that junk, I'm gonna go get some more water and go to the restroom. Just real, real quick. Hey look, we're a barony. Hooray. Hey look, a cat. Come here. She followed me. <laughs> Come here. Goodness. Okay, so we are now a barony. The mayor has been re-elected. So, we did not need to have a holding in order to have a baron. Right? So I think now that we have a Baron, we are able to have a holding. I'm really curious to see if we, if, if something pops up. Uh, still waiting items, okay. I'm curious if a holding pops up, or if, uh, if we get enough dwarves by migrants before that happens. Still awaiting an item. <laughs> Look at our mood. Our mood is so ridiculous. These waterfalls work so well, it's verging on an exploit. We have not made any clothing in this fortress, remind you. We have made leather armor and assigned everyone to a uniform that is literally a leather armor, leather pants, and leather boots. That is what our, our entire fortress is wearing, and they are so happy about it. Uh, okay, so our broker currently has Adept Appraiser and Great Metal Crafter. He must have been busy. So now we click Trade. But now, 
You're an expert appraiser. Okay. So that is what does it. And now, now we're at 219,000 well. Hmm. And we've exported 39,000. Interesting. Okay. So we're, I mean, we're getting there, right? <laughs> um, you have, you have some leather. I know I asked for leather. We already have so much leather. Okay, that's probably fine. Oh my god. Yep, you did what I asked and brought nothing but leather. Uh, and meat and fish. And plump helmets? I guess we can treat our doors to some plump helmets. We're also not farming, hilariously. Uh, most of those can be brewed. Most of those can probably be brewed. And then some cheese. Does anyone want some cheese? We're gonna trade away your socks for some cheese. Yeah, socks and mugs. Is this all the same? Yeah, wow. What happened to our our one bin full of fancy things? Oh, here you go. Man. Is it really just all one bin? Holy smokes, my dwarves took down a werebeast with no bites. Very nice. Very, very nice. A couple of dead cats, but that's it. I mean, it could be much worse. It could be very worse. Um, okay, fine. Here, let's just not take the cheese. Trade. Oh, wonderful. Good. Okay, so... Uh, High Priest of the Decisive Order is ready to be recognized. This will satisfy the agreement, but I... In the temple's location menu. Didn't I already do that? Recognize High Priest. Oh my goodness. The So now you're a High Torch. Huh. Okay, but do I... I don't need to backfill the... The lower one, right? Because you're already, because you're already the, you're already a temple complex. Amazing. We are a barony. Oh, we should actually dig out our baron's quarters, shouldn't we? Now that we have a baron. My goodness. Smoothing up a storm. Yeah, they went from needing a priesthood to needing a high priesthood so quickly I didn't even dismiss the notification. It's ridiculous. Uh, hey, look, more lapis. out of rough gems again we have we have more platinum uh yeah look <laughs> we're we're just we have all the gems now and we're encrusting we're encrusting uh the studding has stopped uh but the the stockpile is filled with platinum instruments mostly looks like some migrants! Excellent! We haven't missed any waves yet. There's one. And a goat. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
7 8 mm, Is that it? Just 8? Yeah, so we've got two single digit waves here But with our I mean we're trading right now and we're we're telling the world that we have 219,000 wealth uh, which is enough to get like a duke uh, or no, I think that's count territory. 100,000 is 100,000 for Baron, 200,000 for count, 300,000 for Duke. Um, so we we have like enough wealth to attract a, a count uh, in our or what fifth year. It's, that's quick. I wouldn't call that blazingly fast, but that's quick. Um, but I'm hoping that like our next, our next migrant wave should be a big one. Um, ideally, we wouldn't have any that are only single digits. Okay, uh, things are things are happening. Okay, um, let's do let's do some more digging. Let's see if we can find more stuff, or let's let's set up our noble quarters first. Like a tomb too. I didn't find a space for that. Barony. Yeah, you're gonna want a a decent or just a tomb. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I care about the rest of these either. Uh, okay, so we want a bed. Cabinets. I made these cabinets so we could give them to our like all the bedrooms, but I don't I don't think they need it. I think they're good. Uh, we do want we can need a weapon rack or two. And an armor stand or two oh, and then they need like a, a table call that a dining room and then a chair and a chair and then this is called a bedroom Baron. And then we want a dining hall. For the Baron. And then we want an office. Also for the Baron. How do you like that? Okay, so it needs to be higher quality and you need a, need a tomb. Uh, but you're good on like, uh, yeah, all that's good. Okay, you're good on furniture. So let's smooth, let's smooth your junk. Um, oh, and then I'll just throw in some statues. How convenient is this? Uh, there is a decent one. Uh, that one's pretty good. Uh, look at that one. <laughs> Uh, and then we just need a spot for a tomb. Uh, so let's do like here. Look at all the smoothing. I gave them all jobs to do. A baby? 
a baby dwarf. Wow. I actually want those, don't I? Birds are a great source of dwarves. Cancel eat, seeking infant. That sounds right. Uh, and I don't think those can get smooth. Okay. Uh, and then we're still we're still encrusting. And then yeah, this is all platinum stuff. So again, I'm I'm gonna check for bars. We should have we have a bunch of gold. So I would like them taking from smithing bars and stud input, giving to stud output. That all seems right. This can take the things, yeah. Musical instruments and statues. And the stat the, the instruments are doing way more for us than the statues are at this point. The merchants will be leaving. Okay. Like look at all these. My goodness. Hmm. I wish I knew more exactly. Oh. Can you succeed with this? That's what I want to know. Looks like you're going to try. Yeah, okay. But you can you can do that. Just, just keep doing it. Okay. You're you're smelting, you're smelting. Really those jobs would be like two each? So that all of those forges are going at a time. leaving all their coke laying around. Stray Kitten has adopted a metal crafter. Cool. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then... Yeah, Baron's uh, tomb right here. With all that, and you just need a door and a coffin. Slam. And then we call it a tomb. Did it already? No. This is not. That's not for you. Why did that? Are these all taken already? Oh my goodness. Uh, ants, can I do that? Here, just disassemble the zone. <laughs> I made slabs for all those people. I don't have their corpses, I don't think. They all got incinerated. Uh, let's do this. Uh, coffins in here. And they call it a tomb. <laughs> don't you see all these porcelain statues? How could it be a tomb? Doors in here. Okay. And then tombs. Done. So that should at least get. Yeah, okay, so now we're good. Now <laughs> make make a make a thing there. Now I need a coffin. Oh we just don't do that. Now, boom, and this goes to the Baron, there we go, 
now, you're you're gonna be happy real quick. Just need to get all those things placed. <laughs> I love all this clothing, just everywhere. Uh, so just need so dining hall. When your 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 tomb needs to be higher quality. How about a statue? No. Is that immediately? No. I think they need to place it to actually get the value. have embarked <laughs> smoothing going on I mean that improves our our value right I think that all counts as architecture um, and that'll give our that'll give our engravers something to do if everyone just yeah if everyone's just standing around doing nothing uh, then I'm gonna give them a bunch of engraving jobs Which are here. Just all of it, whatever. Wait until they've finished smoothing those. Just engrave. Go nuts. I'm even gonna say that you do nothing but that. We have the person power. Don't need anyone sitting around doing nothing. I'm surprised we haven't seen goblins yet. I think we're just too far from the goblins on the world map. If there were goblins within attacking distance of us, they'd be all over us right now. The amount of stuff we're making. I still don't know why our water wheels just never worked. Because these each do like... He's just not do enough. Uh, okay. And then we want to keep digging for, for shinies. Uh, let's go... Go down this way. What's all this? This is all magnetite. Which is the thing that can have platinum, right? This is all... Or no, we're above the... We're above the aquifer here. <laughs> the troglodytes. Oh, I thought the troglodytes were hanging out in the um, in the waterfalls. They're cowering from the scorpion beast and then dying. Same thing, really. Uh, okay, so then I'm gonna dig some tunnels here. It's not all the way down. And then this is all pudding stone. Delicious. Hematite. Look at all this. This is all magnetite. I mean, but it's all also aquifer. Ugh. Look at all this. And here's limonite. This is jet. Neat. Limonite, magnetite, it's all, that's all fine. Uh, those are gems of some kind. Magnetite, holy cow.
All magnetite and no platinum. All this, all magnetite. Uh, oh, there's one. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Visually, so... Like, look, this is magnetite. That's tetrahedrite. I can tell no difference. Oh, here's more platinum. I feel like there should be more platinum, like, down here. Maybe not. Maybe that's just the edge. Okay, and that's... that's all that. Whatever. I don't think this is... Losing track of what is, like, actually aquifer and act and what's just wet because I've made it wet. Also, are we flooding down here anywhere? Slowly. Oh yeah, okay. We are we are slowly flooding. Uh, what's all this? Ooh, gold? See the olivine keeps going. Let's do auto mine all the gold. And these gems. This is down far enough that these are probably worth quite a bit. Let's just mine out this whole floor. somewhere <laughs> my goodness yeah and then yeah okay so seems fine Just making sure I'm not you know Slowly flooding my fortress. It's cobalite. Was it cobalite I was looking for? Can I solve it open? Bromite. Deepest olivine we have. Maybe that's what I should be looking for. Uh, there's olivine. Yeah. No, <laughs> come on. it coming to I feel like I screwed up some of my settings or something and it's been funky the way to get a patch not too long ago I was just about to wrap up too 
and we're still in autumn. We were probably at the end of the season there. Gosh dang it. We're gonna have to trade with the, the dwarves again. Okay, well let's, let's, let's go back and do what I was doing. We're all the way down. This is all olivine too. They're all gonna cancel that because it's warm. That's fine though. I'm just gonna set a bunch of a bunch of stuff. We have to do our Baron again. What is my life? I'm not gonna bother with the um all that aquifer junk. That's just that's a waste of time. It's a waste of my time. Petition for the temple. Yes, yes. Um, you we just need a little bit more stuff. Tell him to dig the space for the Baron, just because we know what's coming. And they're all just standing around, so I'm going to tell them to start smoothing again. I uh, just want to make sure that our that these jobs are going right. So. So start start encrusting again. Furniture with cut gems. Finish goods with cut gems. And you stud with gold. Cutting and you're cutting. Uh, oh, and I rebalanced uh, these, so let's do that again. So I'll bring that down to one. High priest is ready to reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And then all these two a piece. Go back up to the temple or down or whatever, wherever it is. Recognize! Hooray! Uh, oh, 
rock crystal. I was originally thinking of trying to get crystal glass going. But I mean, I don't know if it's even... Is it even worth it? Light. Okay. Oh, I should be doing auto. stuff is still good, right? Our patrollers are still up here doing their thing. Our drink situation is still fine. More red zircon. Caravan. Okay. Maybe we'll trade and call it good. Get our baron set up. that one so much higher holy cow okay oh we should actually like should we pick a person to be our to be our baron um who's our happiest citizen someone currently meditating on fortresses you have preferences Marcasite iron, yellow, grossular, horse hoof, the color pale brown, bolts, bucklers, backpacks, tables, dogs. I mean, those, those would all be fine. Um, Atir, I think you're gonna be our person. We can find you again. Is it you? We have more than one ant here. No, maybe not. Or no, we do. No, it was you. That's the that was the last name. Okay, good. Uh, bring us leather. Bring us gems, because that, that was a decent idea. Even if hopefully we have already succeeded by the time they come back. Where, where the heck? On ropes. That's also a thing that <laughs> is a little difficult to make, but not, I mean, we're fine now. I should have traded for ropes early on. Now where's, where's the gems? Okay. And we'll just say, bring me some gems. Bring me the nice ones, please. Broker request. Move our stuff. Uh, through all this junk again. And some mugs. Because we've already... We've done our, our export. Yeah, so we're... We're good there. Good there. Mostly just need... Can I just go to, like, two musical instruments? There we go. Um, now I want to hold on to them. I made stuff for trading. It's 
that's where we have things that aren't instruments. We're just like literally tripping over all our instruments. There we go. Bring that one, please. Our broker is sleeping because of course. And I don't imagine we got a better broker. Add up to appraiser. Yeah, I still don't see any. I don't see anyone. There were people that were like trader, but you're a novice appraiser. Yeah. You've updated your records instantly. Uh, and then what do we even care about? Big plants? Oh, and the plump helmets. <laughs> Why not? I'll just ask for some leather. they leave, we will have our Baron. Oh. All these seeds. People, please. It's a good thing we're not planting anything. And then the smoothing. We'll tell everyone to smoothing. Really, this should be like a lower priority, but you know, whatever. We'll just start with that. Approval item and link stock now. Are they just all already studded? Like, here's a masterfully and decorated masterful platinum osig with 5,000. Um, you're, you're going for it. Okay. Call it there for the day. We did re get most of the stuff that we were doing. Yeah. Look at that, it's worth 16,000 just because I tossed in a couple of statues. And once they leave, oh look, there's our migrants again. Maybe let's check that out. It's probably going to be about the same, though it is rolled like the instant they show up within whatever range. 
so it might be slightly different. Uh, what was that? It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eh? No, I think we got one more. Yeah, because we were at 104 and then we had a baby and then we were at 105. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna save. Don't lose it again. Oh my god. Uh, but we're getting there. Uh, we're gonna keep mining platinum and making instruments and covering them in gems. And then we can get, you know, 35 more people. Now that we have a barony, maybe we can get a holding and we can request people from that. So we're we're on the cusp of victory here, um, but we've we've already marked a lot of areas of improvement uh, for what we can do better next time. I, I'm really interested interested to see how good we can get that first year, uh, like how how precise we can get with our build order in that first year, so that we can get like a good amount of wealth uh, when we have that first outgoing caravan. So that's going to be like the main, that's going to be like the thing that sets the trajectory for the run, right? Is your, how much wealth you have when that first caravan leaves sets the trajectory for year two, uh, like the second year's migrant waves. And how many people you get in year two is going to dictate how fast you can do things, right? Those are going to be the important ones. Uh, so this, this run is kind of made or broken on that first year, I think. Um... Obviously, there's other things that can go wrong or right subsequently, but uh, the first year is important. The first year is very important. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep doing some, some more reading, some more research, and see what all the different things we can do are. Uh, there might be some different strategies we can work on, but uh, honestly, these platinum instruments... I don't know, I don't know what you do other than that. Um, other than other than adamantine, which as we've seen is a whole thing. I'd have to get like very, very efficient at getting adamantine. Um, and even then, would it be faster? You're dealing with all the junk. You're dealing with all the magma and the, the demons. And then you're grabbing. I mean, the artifacts might add up faster. Each individual artifact is like worth a lot, but you're not going to find hundreds of them. We just have... We can make so many of those instruments. We can make hundreds of instruments worth thousands apiece. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll find out. We'll see. Um, yeah. So, come by on Thursday, and we are, fingers crossed, going to wrap up this run uh, and kind of evaluate what we've done, and then hop into another one most likely um so maybe maybe retiring a fortress and starting a new one on thursday with luck um so that'll be fun come by if you want to see that uh today's episode was brought to you by an eagle or a falcon or a hawk whatever that is i think it's a hawk i forgot to do it at the start of the, of the stream um it's that that one that one in particular sponsored today um, but also you, uh, like our, you, uh, all of you, our Pinity, and uh, gifting the subs, kit, pl clicking the buttons, subscribing, joining the Discord, all that stuff. That is, you are my sponsor. You are the thing that I'm that I'm doing this for. Um, so, so thank you, thank you, thank you. That is, like, legitimately, um, thank you. Um, so yeah, come by on Thursday, and we'll keep doing this. And don't forget.